Hello and welcome to Agile Tech Channel. My name is Christian Drieling. I'm Senior Systems Engineer at Agile Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how to configure and to use our shadowing function for the thin lines. What are we going to see in this video? First, we will configure the shadowing with a profile, roll it out to the devices, then we will shadow the first devices. And after this, we will do some fine tuning to the profile and to the connection. First, let's create a profile for our shadowing. Right click profiles, click new profile. I will give it the name Alex shadowing. And I will do this demo now for Linux devices. And we have the point system shadow. Here we can allow the remote shadowing. For the demo purpose, I will remove the entry for prompt the user to allow the remote session. And all the rest we will leave on defaults now. I will assign this profile to my whole structure. Say OK. Please do it now. Let's take a look to the thin client. So it's OK. The changes are here. And now it should be possible for us to shadow the device. So I will right click it here say shadow and connect. And here you see this is a VNC session to the thin client and everything is working as expected. That's good. You can do some fine tuning. So we have a lot of defaults for the session. If we click on options, you see you can uh, change the encoding and uh, compression level. For example, if you have not a big network between the thin client and the management server, it may, might be a good idea to compress the image quality to have a lower bandwidth. So let's go on and let's take a look to the profile what's possible here. Um, the first thing I want to do is to use a password. I will use one, two, three, four, five, six, save it, send it to the thin clients. If I now start the shadowing and just click connect, it will ask me for the password and now we have a basic level of security uh, for the connection between the management server and the thin client. Next thing that I want to configure is secure VNC. So I will go into the profile and then I can enable the secure VNC mode. I should disable the password. The password cannot be used together with the secure mode and the effect is that the connection between the thin client and the management server will be encrypted and it's only possible to get access to the VNC server on client side with our UMS so you can use our users and the rights concept to shadow the devices. I will save this and send it to the thin client. Now we can connect to the thin client with the shadowing function and then you see it's connecting over SSL and it's working as expected. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our pre-sale support or take a look to our Agile eDocs. Have a nice day.